what's poppin' Dolly Verse? This is Gypsy. You guys are watching Broken Dolly TV once again. We're gonna have a little customizing adventure today. So first I just want to show you guys a little update on my uh, Esmeralda doll that I got from Disney Store which if you haven't already go check out my initial reaction to that doll when I first got her and opened her up and I did tell you guys I was going to give her um, a body transplant as soon as I found something that could match her skin tone. So what I actually ended up doing is I put her onto this body which belonged to one of those uh, collector dolls from that movie um what is that movie once upon a wish i don't know <laughs> i don't even know the name of the movie you guys <laughs> i'm horrible okay but you know the mindy kaling doll that was for um the character on that movie she originally came with this body with all the tattoos this was actually adonis's idea y'all he was just looking through my stash and he was like this skin tone looks like it could match and I was like, nah, -uh. but look, she matches so good. So I did end up giving her this body, which is a curvy style body and it's not made to move. It just has regular articulation. It looks almost like she's got a henna tattoo. The character in the movie already has the tattoos on her skin. So this doll they made with that same um, pattern on the body. And it's my only one that I have like this, but she actually looks really good on it. I don't mind the tattoos at all. I don't think I really have any dolls that have tattoos. I don't add tattoos to my dolls because I don't think I'm that great of an artist to be doing that. But y'all, like some of the stuff my son be doing, now I'm kind of feeling bold. I'm like, hmm, if I could figure out a way for my son to put tattoos on my dolls, then I might actually be able to do that and make it look good. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, but I really like her on this body and I love that she's curvy now. I don't mind the dimensions of the curvy body at all on her. I think she looks really good as a curvy doll. I'm trying to move this apron out the way so you guys can kind of get an idea of what her body is looking like. But it just flows so good, you guys. I mean, I'm so surprised that I didn't have to go looking for another body somewhere else that I could give her. Because she just, she looks just, just right on this body to me. All right, but moving on. So now we do have Tango here. She's not wearing her original clothes. I do plan to customize her just a little bit, but not much. All right, so my favorite thing about this doll is that she has these really cool lips. The middle part of the lips have like a darker coloring and then it's kind of like fades out. It's a look that a lot of Korean girls go for when they're doing makeup where they kind of like center the color in the middle of their lips and then as it goes out towards the outside parts of their lips, the color just starts to fade out. And that's like a whole technique. You know, these girls on YouTube with their the makeup gurus and all of them, the beauty girls, they be going in trying to like duplicate that look and teach everybody how to do it. But I just thought it was kind of clever that they made like this Asian looking doll with that um, coloring on the lips because it really reminds me of those Korean girls. So that's a huge part of why I actually wanted this doll because I love the way that they colored her lips. Like little details like that really get me you guys. <laughs> and even though my hating daughter keep trying to play my dolls talking about their eyebrows is too thick and whatnot but I think the thick eyebrows kind of gives them character I don't know it's kind of cute and I keep telling my daughter I'm like some girls be having super thick eyebrows like that like everybody don't got thin pencil thin eyebrows relax you know I just I just think it really reflects reality very well so I love that but I do plan on customizing her in the sense of I am going to thin out her eyebrows at some point. I just don't have time for that right now. So shout out Miss Kelsey on Instagram um, who sent this doll to Adonis. And I do have like a box opening of her that we filmed and it's going to be coming up soon. But um, she's freaking fabulous and we are pretending she's a Blasian girl because she looks so Blasian. And... Um, my latest addition is actually this little petite doll and she's got the Claudette head sculpt if you're wondering which face mold she has. Uh, I believe the Claudette doll was originally part of Carla Nuera's Harlem Theater collection of dolls. That's where we first saw that face and I had only one other doll with that head sculpt before but now because of her I have a second one 
But this is the other Claudette head sculpt that I already have. And I don't have the Harlem Theater version. This is from one of like those holiday Barbies. But Bro, like I have ne never handled a genuine petite made to move Barbie body until now. Oh my goodness, like I like it so much better than I thought I would. I thought because it was petite, it was gonna kind of like irk me a little bit because the petite dolls that we have that are from the fashionistas line like it doesn't really look or feel that much different than skipper except that skipper's chest is a little smaller but with the joints oh my goodness like it's so adorable it feels like the body just totally comes more to life on the joints is it just me like am i going crazy i don't know that's just the vibe that i get i love handling this little petite body like it's so adorable and look at her purple nails what i was really thinking about rebodying this um doll because i thought i was going to use her body for a different head maybe and i was thinking about this head on this little body but i i kind of was doing like a comparison of some of the skin tones i know it's really hard to tell on camera because they're so close in skin tone. I feel like she's supposed to be the same skin tone, but I don't know what it is. There's like a tiny little subtle difference where the Selma head is a little bit darker than the BMR doll's body. And I have this doll here that I was trying to compare her to to see if they are the same skin shade because they look so similar. And I feel like they are supposed to be the same skin tone, but I don't know what it is about Mattel's vinyl sometimes. It's like the shine factor, I guess. Depending on how shiny it is, sometimes it can make the complexions look slightly darker or lighter. So even if they are actually the same hue, one might seem a little darker than it's supposed to be. Um, so when they're next to each other like this, it's so difficult to tell on camera, you guys. But my eyes can see the difference. And to me, just slightly, she seems like she's a little darker than her. It's so freaking slight. I mean, it's insane how slight the difference is to the point where it's almost like, I think I'm imagining it almost, but this head to me looks like it would look better on the skin tone than on the other body. So I did have a second one of this doll, but as I was redressing the doll, like I was taking her clothes off and trying to prep her for the rebodying and one of her wrists just broke. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was so disappointed. Luckily, I got it from walmart.com and I was able to take it back to a store to return it and order a new one. So I'm waiting for that body to come in. And then when it does, I've already got her prepped and she will be going on to that body. But I already, um, I did like a rough head swap with the doll that was broken and she looks so freaking good. And I was so mad that I couldn't fix the wrist to at least try to salvage it. Cause like, the wrist snapped in uh, remember when i was showing you guys how to take the wrist off and i was telling you, you have to like twist and turn it otherwise the whole hand could come away from the joint like literally that's what happened to me the freaking hand just fell right off of the joint i was so mad <laughs> and i even tried to like replace it like pull on uh, a wrist off of another doll and try to replace it like nothing was working and i was so upset it is what it is it's just plastic so if you do decide to put your selma head or something in this similar skin tone onto this body i don't think that you will have a hard time um making it work making it match if you really need to because it's look at this it's not that big a difference you really can't tell and i do kind of think that they are supposed to be the same skin shade so i could be wrong but i really do think they are they're so close um but for me i felt like i'm just gonna keep her the way that she is and then later on if i decide i want another made to move uh petite in the skin tone then i might get a second one of this doll just to do a head swap with but for now we're going to just work with what we've got so what i want to do is a little slight customizing not drastic i'm trying to see if i can take down her buns she's got these purple space buns that are really adorable and it's an awesome hairstyle for her it really looks cute i love her purple baby hairs look at this what y'all this is everything okay this doll is freaking everything this doll is for collectors like for real for real kids they just can't appreciate all the details of this doll i'm telling you right now they can't <laughs> i'm gonna change her clothes i'm going to give her a new hairstyle and 
at least take these buns down so we can see what is going on with her hair down there. I don't know if I've seen any pictures of this doll with her hair down. But so first things first, let me just point out the fact that these buns are crispity crunchity, okay? They really are. They put hella gel in here to make her hair stay put. And I don't blame them for having done this because that's a difficult style to pull off. I don't have one BMR doll in our collection that I don't like or that I like I find a major flaws with um, so I'm really satisfied with the quality that we've gotten so far so far I've gotten this back bun removed and I see she does have some length to this hair which is really surprising normally when they have these kind of really tight buns and tons of gel it's like really short hair that they molded into that shape and then when you take the hair down it's not really a long strand of hair that you're working with but I see that we don't have that problem here, so that's totally what's up. All right, so we're not really working with a lack of length here. That's totally not what's going on. And uh, the hair is a little crispity on the on the ends. Um, on the inside, not so much. And I'm just trying to look at the the rooting job to see if we've got a bunch of empty scalp space that we need to be camouflaging. I don't really see. Anything like that. There's some texture here because the hair was up in a bun. But I can tell that when this hair is like settled, it's supposed to be straight hair. So I don't know if the waves are going to stay in there or come out when I'm done with this process. But anyways, now you guys can kind of tell how long her hair is. So those of you who love to restyle doll hair, you got something to work with here. This is more length than like the made to move yellow top had when we took down her high ponytail. And this is how far I've gotten with the hair so far, just trying to undo these buns. And guys, you have to kind of like cut the elastic that's holding the buns down in place just because of the gel and the hair being so difficult to move around and maneuver. I, before I take the rest of it down, I just want to show you how her hair is parted into these like triangular um, thirds on her scalp. So these parts, I believe the hair is rooted with these parts in place, like deliberately like this, so that they can get them into the three ponytails. And um, I'm hoping that the parting isn't going to really affect the doll's look when the hair is down that much because sometimes when they part the hair a certain way and they root the doll's head like a certain direction it's difficult for you to restyle the hair so that it will sit flat on the doll's head later on and so i'm hoping that doesn't happen with her but i'm just trying to let you guys see um in case that is what i end up with you see why <laughs> because the hair is parted a certain way so just keep that in mind as you're handling your doll and also if you have this for children you're gonna have to be their hairdresser for uh at least the initial stages of restyling the hair because this is not the kinds of buns that the kid will be able to just take down easily on their own if they want to change the hairstyle so just keep that in mind and another little tidbit i want to add is that i'm into uh swapping out the hands for certain dolls and different bodies but as I was dealing with that one doll that I told you broke um, and I was trying to like fix her arm, I was trying to find another doll that I could steal the hand off of <laughs> to give to her and I realized not all of the wrists just pop off easily by twisting and turning like I normally do. Like depending on what wave of the doll it might be, even if it's another made to move doll, you kind of have to like either heat the hands first before you pull them out of the socket or in some cases, if you, if you feel like you're just forcing it too much and it's not just coming out, if you don't see progress, just quit while you're ahead. Don't even risk it because you're going to end up breaking the, the hand or the joint. So I just wanted to share that with you guys as I'm customizing. Um, All right. This is the moment of truth. All of her buns are now out of her hair. And this is how it looks. Just fresh with no buns, no wash. Um, it's still, it's not as crunchy as it was when it was all in the buns because that part of the hair that the gel was on is really just on the outside of the buns. But it's very like wavy and kind of all over the place. As you can see, it's not going to lay flat on her head at this stage. So we do need to do some manipulating to the hair to get it looking right. So I have washed the gel out of her hair 
and kind of sort of try to like comb through it just to make sure there's no knots or anything. I have discovered, unfortunately, that this middle part of her hair that was kind of parted by itself uh, into a triangle, she's a little scalpy here in the front. See this empty space? So if you try to part her hair down the middle in the front, you're gonna run into some problems because she's really lacking hair up there. And that is really, really unfortunate and uh, disappointing That's for me because I really do love restyling doll hair and brushing it. And I like probably my favorite style for most of my dolls is just to leave their hair down and just like part it to whatever side it's gonna part on. So for her, I cannot really do that. I can't put her hair down like towards the back because of this big gap here and I can't really part it in the middle but I'm hoping that we can do a side part perhaps and camouflage that so we'll have to see how that turns out but I just want to point that out to you guys um, straight up as soon as I took the hair down I noticed that and for some of you that's gonna mean up oh, time for a reroute <laughs> I have to go find some purple hair and I don't have the time to or the patience to reroute so I can't do that but um, this is my progress so far what I did was I used my uh, hair straightening method that I gave you guys a tutorial on before and I'm using this little straightener to get her hair straight. The trick with this is that you have to have your heat down very low and then use water to coat the hair as like a... Um, like like a heat protectant serum almost and because the fibers of the doll's hair is synthetic if you just put heat on it without something to like protect the fiber it's just gonna like burn or melt so you want to pass this through the hair very quickly and go over it a couple times to get it straight i don't really feel like dunking her whole head into hot water to do this and like wait for the water to dry and all this nonsense I'm very impatient in case you ain't figured that out. So <laughs> this is my quick method of getting her hair straight and to lay it kind of flat. But I'm gonna show you what this looks like after I get a little bit further into my process. I've only got one layer of hair done so far. So we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so people will like debate with me about this a lot. Um, I have this belief that some of the dolls, they will root their hair directionally, like the way that they want the hair to sit when it's tied in a ponytail they will root the doll's hair in that direction and people don't believe me they think that I'm just like imagining it or something but this doll hair stuff is a lot like human hair and how you know wigs and stuff like that are created so this is what I mean see how the hair it just lays this way like it's going away from her head it's the direction that they rooted the hair in they're sitting upside down on the doll's head so when you and this is another reason why I use the straightening method because the way to get the hair like flat like this you kind of have to manipulate the hair to train it to lay flat I swear people do not believe me they think I'm imagining it <laughs> I don't know what it is they think that all the doll's hair is rooted like in one direction going down um, but no it's not all this hair back here this is all rooted backwards it's like upside down because they wanted the doll's hair to be like in ponytails that were high up on her head. It's done this way on purpose to make it easier to style the doll's hair the way that the designers want the doll's hair to sit on the doll's head, guys. All right, so, folks, here is her hair straightened. It's not styled just yet. I just need to get it straight so I can see what I'm working with. And you can see here um, what the ends are looking like. They're a little scraggly. Yeah, her ends are very like frayed looking. And, but that's not from the heat. This is just, it's just the hair texture. So I don't know. I thought this hair was supposed to be straight hair uh, off the rip, but maybe it's not. Maybe it was supposed to have some texture to it. I don't know. And unfortunately, this, this front part of her head, I mean, it is not a small gap of hair, you guys. It's huge. Like, look at this. There's like an entire bald spot right in the front of her head. It's pretty bad. It doesn't look so bad here on camera, but she cannot wear her hair down and part it in the middle at all. Like, it's, there's no way it's gonna be hidden. Um, but the good news is that because of those side parts from the other triangles in her hair, you can camouflage it. So 
that's the good part. To me, on camera, it's picking up more like a pink color, but her hair really is very purple. It's like a pastel purple color. And she does have some little low lights or whatever in there of a darker shade of purple that's almost looking like blue and whatever reason i don't know if it's my lighting or my camera but it doesn't pick up that well on the camera but in person definitely a purple shade of hair and i want to see how she's going to look after i style this hair so let's see what happens here she is with most of her hair pretty straight and I still haven't really gotten like a good uh, style down for her because I'm trying to just gauge whether I need to cut some of this hair. If you can see, her hair is very like choppy because the top part of her buns were shorter than the back part of her hair. And there's a bit of a lift. It's not flat on her head, like I said, because her hair is not rooted in the right direction to begin with so there's gonna be a little bit of a lift in the hair because it's not really designed to sit flat on the head there is a way to further flatten her hair down but I have to do something different than what I did to get it straight um, this is just to make the actual like waviness go out of the hair so we did that but in order to really get it flat I'm gonna have to do some other little tricks to do that so Right now, I'm just trying to decide whether I want to cut some of the hair and even it out a little bit more or leave it alone and just try to work with what I have. This saran is like pretty good with the um, iron, with the heat, and it didn't like fray or anything, um, didn't sizzle. Like I did use water to coat the hair, so that helped. But even with very minimal water on the hair, it still didn't like do anything that scared me into thinking it was gonna fry the hair. So that's good. And as I stated earlier, you can camouflage that big bald spot in the middle of her head, even though the hair is all straight now, you can't really see it if you keep her hair parted to one, of one side or the other. So I'm gonna just keep going and see what I can do. Um, with my very limited resources right now because I don't have my entire usual setup for um, customizing and crafting and stuff. Okay, so if you guys hear some chewing in the background, that's just Adonis eating his lunch. And I'm pretty, I'm done with her for now. She actually, guys, I really didn't know how this was going to end because I was very worried that I wasn't going to like the way that her hair turned out or like whatever I ended up doing to her. I just felt like it was just going to feel very incomplete um, while I was styling her. So I just changed her outfit real quick. She's got on like a plain green shirt. And this is one of those Mattel tops that came with the skateboarder dolls. And Gina put one of his graphics on there for me just to kind of liven it up a little bit. And um, it's really cute. It's like, what is this? I don't know what this thing is. Like a little pink puffy guy with a Santa hat on. <laughs> so uh, I guess she's getting ready for the holidays. But um, so let me show you how her hair turned out. Look how cute she is. Isn't she so adorable? She's like so small next to my other dolls. And I love it. I love that she's so short. And um, just, I don't know. She just looks so good on this body. Like... I really don't usually feel like this about dolls that I get from the company. Like I always feel like I gotta do something to them or rebody them or something because they don't be quite the way I want them to be. But this one, I'm very satisfied with how she's turned out. Um, so she had on a hat, but I wanna show you guys how her hair turned out. So it's all straight now. And now that the hair has dried a little bit, like it was a little damp earlier from when I was putting the water on to style it. But now that it's been dried, I don't think that the different layers of hair that's cut into the doll's hair, it's not super noticeable or distracting. So I think I'm okay not cutting the hair. And she just looks freaking awesome. Like, I'm sorry, I just really like it a lot. So I'm very satisfied with how she turned out. I was a little bit worried, you guys. I was a little bit worried, but now that she's done, I'm like, yes, this is how she was supposed to be. And because I didn't cut the layers out of her hair, if I decide to put her hair back up into the buns, it's totally doable. And 
minus the crispity crunchity because we don't need all that gel <laughs> but anyways i really like the way she turned out what do you guys think um what would you do differently than what i have done to get a similar look and if you have tips on an easier way to restyle the hair or to you know do something else with it go ahead and leave that in the comments for other viewers because those of you who take time to comment you guys really do help um us out because i see a lot of good tips in the comments um and you guys watching this should definitely scroll through the comments because there are some real hardcore doll customizers out there who have all the tips and tricks for y'all and they be over here hanging out with us on Broken Dolly TV. So you, you, you don't know what you might be missing if you skip over them comments, okay? Our little petite Claudette sculpt is getting ready to find her place in our massive <laughs> made to move Barbie doll collection. And uh, while she's doing that, we'll be sure to post pictures on Instagram so you guys can see the different changes that are being made to the dolls and get some ideas for yourselves. Go ahead and follow us at Broken Dolly TV. And until the next time, we'll see you later. Have a dolly day.